Hi, my name is Keith, a technician with USA Clean for over 11 years. And this machine here is a Noble Speed Scrub Rider. The machine behind me is a Tenet T7. Now in this video series, we're gonna show you tips and tricks that will either work for the Noble Speed Scrub Rider or the Tenet T7 to help minimize the cost and need of sending a service tech. Okay, so it's time to replace your rear and front damaged or worn squeegee blades. This is how you do it. Go ahead and loosen up your star knobs on the left and the right. Remove the back hose and get that out of the way. And then your squeegee assembly just pulls right off the machine. Now, at this point, come underneath here and look at your swivel caster wheels. Make sure they're not worn or damaged in any way. After time, these guys can get worn out. Um, easiest way to replace those or the way to replace these is get a 17 millimeter wrench and there is a nut on each side of your swivel caster wheels on the top. Take those nuts off and the swivel caster wheel will drop down. You just put the new one back in and put that nut back on top of it. Removing the blades from the squeegee assembly to replace them is simple. Loosen the four star knobs. You don't have to take them all the way off, just loosen them up. Take your squeegee assembly and flip it over on its top. Now remove the rear strap that holds your rear blade in place. And now you can take off the rear blade. Now if you need to get to the front one, all you got to do is take the center, scoot it out a little bit and remove the front blade as well. Okay, you got your new blades. <clears throat> We're gonna put them back in. All you have to do is reverse the steps as taking them out. We're gonna reuse the same blades because they're not in bad condition. Everybody's got their own preference, but I like to start in the center of the front, put the front in, make sure that the notch matches up with the hole in the squeegee blade. and just go side to side. And now at this point, do the same thing with the rear blade. Make sure that the holes match, line up with the notches. On this side, I like to go end to end. Makes it a little easier. Now what you can do, put your rear strap back on. Kind of hold it in place, tighten it back down. Now take your squeegee assembly, flip it back over, tighten down your star knobs. I always like to start out with the two end star knobs because you got to keep these two loose to get it back on to your machine. Now that you got your blades replaced, all we got to do is put it back on the machine. Slide that into there, slide that into there, and tighten down the star knobs. Now they don't have to be overly tightened, just hand tighten. And take your back hose, put it back on your squeegee assembly, and you're done. Once again, my name is Keith. For all the parts listed in this video, plus thousands of diagrams and how-to repair guides, be sure to click the link in the description below or visit us on the web at usaclean.com. Stay safe and thanks for watching.